In this episode, I talk about bringing social issues to light by using your photography. It can ignite the inner activist in you, and we all want to see what you have to say. So listen as I talk about this subject that's close to my heart. This is The Photography Junkie. Hello Photography Junkies, I'm Jay, the host of the Photography Junkie podcast. And today we are diving into an incredibly powerful and relevant topic, and that is how to use photography as a tool for social change. Photography is more than just capturing beautiful images. It's a medium through which we can ignite conversations, raise awareness and inspire transformation. Join me as we explore the world of social change photography, its techniques and impactful examples. Before we delve into the practical aspects of using photography for social change, it's crucial to understand the profound impact a single image can have. A photograph can convey emotions, tell a story and serve as a catalyst for change. Think about the iconic image of a young girl during the Vietnam War fleeing from a napalm attack. That single photograph captured by uh, Nick UT helped change public opinion and ultimately influence government policies. It illustrates the incredible influence of photography has had in, in shaping history and policy. Telling compelling stories. One of the fundamental principles of using photography for social change is telling compelling stories. Each photograph should be a narrative providing context and depth. For example, the work of Lewis Hine during the early 20th century focused on child labour in the United States. His images of young children working in factories served as a powerful tool to advocate for child labour laws. When using photography to advocate for change, choose a theme or an issue that resonates with you personally. It could be uh, climate change, or social injustice or human rights. I've always been passionate about environmental conservation and so I often use my camera to capture the beauty of nature. while highlighting the environmental challenges it faces. Techniques and tips. Now let's discuss some techniques and tips to effectively use photography for social change. The first one is research and awareness. Before you embark on your photographic journey, Thoroughly research the issue you want to address, understand the nuances, the history, the key stakeholders involved. This knowledge will help you capture more meaningful and context rich images. The second suggestion is choose the right gear. You don't need the latest and greatest camera gear to make a difference, but having the right equipment can certainly help. High quality lenses and a camera that performs well in low light conditions can be essential for capturing impactful images. The third one is composition and storytelling. Pay attention to composition and storytelling. Think about what you want to convey in your image and compose your shot accordingly. Utilize techniques like leading lines, framing, and the rule of thirds to guide your viewer's eye and evoke emotions. 
Number four is uh, capturing emotion. Emotion is a powerful tool in photography for social change. A candid smile, a tear, or a powerful gaze can convey the essence of a moment. Documenting people's emotions can be a compelling way to engage with your audience. Number five, ethical considerations. Be respectful and ethical in your approach. Always seek permission from the people you photograph, especially in in sensitive situations. Avoid exploiting or sensationalizing subjects for the sake of a powerful image. A little section about online and offline advocacy. Your role as a social change photographer doesn't end with capturing images. You need to share them effectively, utilize both online and offline platforms to reach a wider audience. First one will be social media. Social media platforms like Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, now X, are excellent tools to share your work. Use relevant hashtags and captions to provide context and encourage discussion. The second way of getting it out there would be exhibitions. Hosting photo exhibitions in galleries or community spaces can be a powerful way to engage with your local community and raise awareness about the issues you care about. Collaborations. Uh, Collaborating with NGOs, activists or organisations working on the same issues can amplify your impact. They can use your photographs for their campaigns and you can gain more exposure through their networks. Here's a few impactful examples for yourself. Okay, so let's look at some impactful examples of social change photography. Dorothea Lang, I've mentioned her before in the podcast. Her iconic image of migrant mother captured the hardships of the Great Depression and inspired empathy and government assistance for struggling families. Sebastio Salgado, his photo projects like Genesis and Workers have raised global awareness about environmental and labour issues. James Natchway, his work documenting global conflicts and social issues has brought attention to the human cost of war and injustice. Greta Thunberg's climate strike Although not a traditional photographer, the images around Greta and social media presence have fueled the global climate strike movement. Photography is not just about taking pictures, it's about advocating for change. As photographers, we have a unique role in shaping public opinion, challenging the status quo and pushing for social transformation. Consider your responsibility as a visual storyteller to be a catalyst for progress. In conclusion, photography is a potent tool for social change. As photographers, we have a unique ability to capture moments that spark conversations, evoke emotions and inspire action. By using our skills and passion to tell compelling stories, we can contribute to meaningful change in the world. So grab your camera, hit the streets, and let's change the world, one image at a time. Remember, your lens is your voice, and the world is waiting to listen. It's time to make a difference, one photograph at a time. If anything that I've said in this episode uh, means anything to yourself or if you have actually gone out and done your social projects, uh, drop it in the comments. I want to hear about it. Thank you everybody for listening. As always, you will see the full article up over on thephotographyjunkie.com. This is The Photography Junkie.